my name is Caitlin and we're here at Occupy Sydney, part of a global movement. We're outside the Reserve Bank of Australia and I'm here with Elena. And Elena was actually in Spain earlier this year. You were there in July, is that right? Tell us about mm -hmm. that experience. Well, in July was one of the biggest demonstrations um, uh, in Madrid and in all the major Spanish cities. Um, I was in a demonstration that was organized by the M15 over there. The movement is called like that because it started um, on the 15th of May of this year um, with the camps and the demonstrations and um, lots of action online as well. Um, so the demonstration that I was in, it was attended by 300,000 people. Um, it was very powerful. Uh, it involved all sectors of society, very varied people from lots of backgrounds. So you had grandmothers cheering in the balconies, um, migrants, uh, Spaniards, uh, people from all age groups, middle class, working class, probably different ideologies as well. Um, and I also got to um, see some of the camps and talk to um, people about the movement. Um, and what's really interesting for them at the moment is that they're actually watching us because uh, New Zealand and Australia started first. Um, so they've been really inspired by the fact that this global revolution, which uh, virtually they called, um, they called this Global Day of Action for the 15th of May, um, they're very inspired by the fact that we are doing this and they've been watching it. Um, in Sydney and being quite inspired by the fact that it, it's reached this far and it's starting to grow here. Mm -hmm. So it's it's really great. And how does the vibe here and the atmosphere here compare to when you were in Spain earlier this year? Well, I think here um, there's a mixture of um, really good, um, there's a really good vibe amongst people, I think, and lots of fruitful discussion happening. Mm -hmm. And at the same time, there's a, lot, there's a little bit of tension and hard work that has to be done. And I think people are you know, it's the baby steps and this is the first day or the second day and in Spain, we have to remember that in Spain and Wall Street, it started with nine people camping. So I'd say um, it, it would be good to have less pressure on it and let it just grow a little bit and uh, focus on the general assemblies, the decision making um, and making sure we have a really good strong list of demands and we focus on the specifics. Um, because people have been saying it's a vague, it, the movement is a bit vague, and it's not. It's very, very specifically about challenging corporate greed, it's about rethinking democracy and making it more participatory and direct, um, and it's about a, a fairer and just society. So it's a broad movement, but specific demands. So if you think that you are part of the 99%, and as you can see, it's a beautiful, peaceful <laughs> gathering here, mm -hmm. get yourself down to, uh, to Martin Place in Sydney, because it needs all the support that we can get. Mm -hmm.